Okay, we back in the building once again for another one. Unstoppable Tesla dominance, decoding it part two. Everyone hates Tesla. Let's continue. And once again, we're reviewing a video from Invest Answers. He did this video, mm, oh yeah, a day ago. So it's been a great video. I reviewed it on my own, but we're gonna review it here, and you guys, you guys are gonna get all the information, and we're gonna bring you up to speed. And then after this video, you're going to have to sit back and wonder, like, why do people still dislike Tesla? Of course, I know why, right? Because Elon's doing an amazing job. They don't like him for whatever political reasons. But I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about Tesla, the company, the employees, the people who are working hard to actually have the machine that makes the machine, creating better systems and processes to produce not only just the EVs, but all the other products and battery technology and et cetera. So we're gonna cover that and we're gonna go over this domination that Tesla has going on. Let's continue. And especially right now, the stock is pretty low, guys. All right, so craziness. In addition, vi environmental impacts, not that many people care, but EVs are far cleaner, even taking into account the energy of mining. And Tesla's focus on sustainable energy solutions so we're going to skip that part because nobody tends to care about it and i don't even want to come from that perspective because unfortunately a lot of people feel as though that climate change or how people have been describing the ev revolution it's really from a moral or political position i'm not saying that i'm saying that the technology is kick ass i'm saying that the product is more effective and efficient i'm saying that we're about to create a different type of industry with more jobs. I'm saying that we're gonna be the number one when it comes down to this manufacturing process system that we have developed. And also it puts us ahead of the competition. I want our country to be the most competitive country, have the best companies that produce the best products with the best system and the best innovation services and products. We don't wanna be behind the eight ball on this one. And so net net Tesla is doing that. It's not even me wanting them to do that. It's we are doing it. And too much, these companies, especially Tesla, Rivian, and all these other companies get caught in that gambit, that game, right? We're going to be talking about environmental ESG. And then once we start talking about that, then you lose a good amount of people. And that's not the conversation. The technology is better, guys. I don't need to describe why the car was better than the horse. Right. But if you came at people with, oh, it's unethical to have a horse and then horses are passing out and dying because we're overusing them. So go to the car. People are going to be like, man, get out of my face with that. So let's stop coming at people with, oh, you don't care about the planet and how you pass it on to your children and start talking about how the technology is just better. That's it. Conversation about the car. That's it. And energy. That's it. Energy abundance. That's what we're talking about. I'm not coming here to rag on you guys because I don't think you want to pass a habitable world to your future generation. I'm not having that conversation. I'm not going to act like I'm morally better than you because I take my glass in my plastic and separate them when I throw them out. We're not playing that game. We're playing here that this is some great technology. Let's move on. All right. Customer loyalty and satisfaction, two other big areas. Tesla customers are highly satisfied with the vehicles. The first thing they do after a Tesla customer buys a Tesla vehicle is they buy a second one for a family member or a kid or a mother or whatever. And the satisfaction among customers leads to very strong brand loyalty. And they also have uh, the highest owner ratings for everything else. So customers are very loyal. And so... I want to highlight that the company of uh, the customers are very loyal and they like the product. So what you often hear is the quality of Tesla is this effed up bad. Of course, when it was a growing company in scaling, especially different types of models, they had their issues. But now, come on, guys. Come on. They're creating a way better product. And there's not much complaints from the actual customers. There's more complaints coming from media more complaints coming from people who are regurgitating talking points that the media is saying, but it's not a lot of talking points about the quality being terrible from the customers. There's here and there 
a couple of things that are said, but the majority of people after surveys are conducted say that they love the product and it's a great product. A way smaller fraction is saying that they had issues and it was hard to get the issues fixed or that they just had issues. So come on guys, focus on the truth versus the fake. And they're extremely satisfied. And probably one of the most important things that is rarely spoken about is safety. If you have a loved one and you don't trust their driving, buy them a Tesla. You can drive the Model Y off a cliff with a family of four, land 300 feet down into hard rocks, and everybody will walk away. And that happened in California. Near and also, he's not saying that somebody should do that, okay? He's just, saying, he's just talking about something that happened. And that's what I'm saying. Like, what are we talking about? I don't have to get righteous on you. I don't have to talk about the environment and pass it on and you don't care about the plants, the albino snow monkeys and the apes and the baboons and the dogs and the cats and the kittens and the birds and the bees and the trees. I don't have to have that conversation because this car is safe. It's effective and efficient. It's more cost effective, but also on top of that, it's safe, guys. One of the largest contributing factors towards death is accidents and accidents are reduced because we're driving in some of the safest cars. <laughs> Tesla received a six star when there's only five, right? We had to create an extra star. And it's not me, but <laughs> whoever was doing the survey, right? So somebody drove it off a cliff by an accident or whatever. Allegedly, I don't know what happened, but net net, they walked away safe and their family walked away safe. Wouldn't you want that? Or do you want your car to go off the cliff and everybody's deleted talking to G-O-D in the afterlife. Like, come on. But people want to do that because they want to want feel the vibration underneath their butt cheeks when they drive an actual combustible engine. I mean, pause. What are we talking about? Let's get safe. Let's get smart. Let's actually survive. I think that would be good. Near Half Moon Bay. And Tesla vehicles consistently receive the highest ratings provided customers with peace of mind. And the emphasis on, sa on, saving, on safety really uh, enhances the whole brand of the vehicle as well. Remember, if you have a loved one, put them in this. And my car saved me twice from things that weren't my fault. So it's stunning. And remember, it just takes one bad thing to happen and that's it, game over. Anyway, thank you, B, as well, for coming. Let's talk about integrated software because they have an integrated software stack that powers it all. Think think uh, human resource systems, ERP systems, supply chain systems, analytics systems, design systems, et cetera. They have... Th like you said, it only takes one accident to be out of here. So gratefully, he added Tesla and he survived his accident. So let's go and allow him to talk about integrated software stack powers it all. Look at this, stack. Auto, hardware, software, others. Let's continue. They built their own integrated stack that runs across everything. Cars, trucks, semis, powertrains, service, seats, part design, managing of suppliers, infotainment, chip design, dojo, autopilot, FSD, Tesla Vision, insurance, robotaxi, supercharger, solar panels, power walls, grid services, power packs, battery design, automation, and robotics. They have it all in an integrated stack that does everything. If you know anything about running an enterprise, you've got to buy all this off the share shelf stuff from the SAPs and the oracles of the world and Salesforce and nothing ever talks to each other or speaks to each other or even works very well. It needs to be customized and tailored for the business. Tesla got away from that from the ground up and they can control everything and they can design stuff fast and on the fly. And this is one of the reasons why China is very good at what they do. When you're looking at a manufacturing park, I don't know if people actually ever flew out to China and actually saw where some of their products came from. But in an actual, let's say, industrial park, I mean, all the items that are necessary are from different companies, but they're almost in the same park. So when we're fabricating a specific item, let's say we have five of the items that we need, but we need seven other items off the shelf from other companies that produce those items. They're literally in the same industrial park in China versus they're being on the other side, out of state, out of town, out of country. And so that makes the processing system more effective and efficient. And that's why China is very good at their manufacturing also. So net net, Tesla has been able to finally be able to produce this versus what we have now is a lot of companies that manufacture pro you know, products specifically 
they actually get a lot of those items from all over. And then this actually creates room for error, mismanagement, shipping, logistical issues, administrative issues. So net net, this could be complicated and actually affect the underlining number. That's the most important part. Also, talk of Dojo, one of the areas that Tesla sandbags very heavily. Dojo, uh, they're building their own training tile. It's optimized for training. It's not a graphics card that can pivot to AI like NVIDIA has. Not casting any shade at NVIDIA. I'm just saying Tesla have been focusing, and they're making good progress on its unique data center tile, which they call Dojo. And it'll be crucial for processing vast amounts of data that are needed for training FSDs, algorithms, and other new tools in the future, like the robot Optimus. And again, this is going to be banger. It'll be very capable, very energy efficient, and extremely scalable. And in fact, Elon Musk said they will have excess compute available at the end of the year. And apparently, FSD is pretty much done. All it needs is more, a little more compute, a little more learning, and we're there. And that will be a chat GBT moment as well as Brad Gerstner said for Tesla. Now Tesla also having now man if if that actually happens the dojo chip is a long shot and Elon actually said it in one of the conference calls so don't think like it's gonna happen for sure for sure. No he said it's a long shot but if it actually works it's a hell of an amplifier guys we should be pushing the video numbers if that chip works then we want NVIDIA numbers, okay? We want to put some respect on our name over here at Tesla. I want the video, NVIDIA numbers. I want everybody to be on our dealios, like they're on NVIDIA right now. No shade at them, right? But if they execute and Dojo is of better quality when it comes down to these training models, not like NVIDIA where things can pivot, but net net, shh, we rule the game, kiss the ring, king of kings. Put some respect on Tesla's name. Insurance. Insurance, weird. But not only can Tesla determine if somebody is a good or bad driver, they monitor what every driver does, but they got the cheapest insurance for Teslas. I think they're running now in about 15 states across the US. And I do believe there will come a day where insurance companies, what they call insurance carriers, will ding drivers for not having FSD or driving a Tesla. But come on, guys. And, and, and if you see something like State Farm, State Farm has small trackers that they put in the cars to kind of be able to collect data about the driving patterns and profile of a specific driver to be able to provide them with better annual premiums if they drive safe and stuff of this nature. But Tesla's already beaten that and collects way more resourceful and valid information versus, you know, the little small tracker that state farm might have in somebody's car that they put in there i mean net net geico progressive the average cost nationwide usaa and state farm are not beating the annual premium for insurance cards by tesla for good drivers come on guys insurance too i mean geez because they won't have the same level of collision avoidance and safety and everything else that a Tesla has. So that'll be an interesting time as well as we come forward. Also, strong financial position. These guys take a billion dollars and turn into six billion dollars time and time again. Tesla's strong financial performance allows for continued investment in research and development. Access to capital also facilitates global expansion like Giga Mexico, Giga Shanghai for the Megapack factory, and building robots and building dojos and everything else. While the competition is retrenching, these guys are spinning off tons of cash and investing in tons of new products. Roadster, Cybertruck, Model 2, Model 2 production line, building massive, the biggest factories on the planet. And they still have tons of money. They got guys, this is this is a big sleeper. I gotta I gotta intervene on this one. Financial growth. 30 billion in the bank, 4.4 billion in free cash flow last year. Almost 15 billion in net income. Guys, that's a lot of companies that's doing better. But at the end of the day, all this is happening while we're expanding Dojo, Bot, Model 2, right? That next gen that's going to be ridiculous. Cyber Truck, where they created a whole new processing line in order to bend 
the metal that is required for the body. Giga Mexico, Giga Shanghai, like expansion of Giga Shanghai and the creation of Giga Mexico, which factories are built almost in under two years. And on top of them being built under two years, it's Tesla who builds the factories. And on top of them building it under two years, they also do what, guys? They actually build great factories and they build them themselves. A lot of car manufacturers, they outsource it. General contractor, other people actually build the factories. But we build them because we know what we want and what's best, right? And so net net at the end of the day, billion dollar factories across the globe. Talk about somebody who brings jobs back to America. And this is why I say that a lot of people who have a negative position about Tesla or just are neutral, man, get off the fence at the end of the day. I'm not talking about Elon Musk. I'm talking about Tesla. All right. You guys are complaining about jobs not being brought back to America and jobs are bringing being brought back to America. Right. Expansion in Nevada. He didn't put that in there. Nevada. We expanded on Nevada. They brought more jobs, more industries. We got Christus Corpy. Uh, if I said that around uh, Christus Corpius or whatever the heck, but basically the lithium ion refinery, right? That's in Texas. We got the Austin facility. I mean, we already had Fremont, which was Toyota and it was shutting down. We have New York. We have also LaForp, California, where we have the actual Mega Pack factory. Like factories all over inside of America. And we're not getting no respect put on our name, at least by people who say that they're blood in and blood out for America, that say that they're American, that they say they want to vote for X, Y, and Z, who's going to bring jobs back. We need this. We need jobs. Then vote for the companies and support the companies, at least Tesla, whether it's with your dollars and buying products from the company, whether it's actually just a positive message to someone else about the damn company. That's the problem with you guys. It's hard to actually have a domestic company or domestic products when people domestically don't support the same products and companies which make the sacrifices and make it happen. So we got to do that before we talk smack. So, hey, guys, listen. Giga Texas is there. Giga Austin, whatever. It's there. So let's support Tesla because I'm saying they're the only ones who's building out a portfolio. Going back to the financial position, guys, while we're expanding, doing research and development, and we're developing these technologies and even developing the cyber truck, I mean, we're still being able to have a good balance sheet. So this is very interesting. A lot of companies out there are not innovating like this one. They're not innovating the hardware and definitely barely innovating software. So this is the difference. Barely innovating hardware. We're invented in re-innovating hardware. I mean, it's been so long since someone built hardware that was new inventions to the world. We've been living on the laurels of people in the past who built computers and planes and et cetera. We haven't created something new for the paradigm, new for the future. And this is what Tesla is doing and a select few of other companies. But specifically, I'm going to highlight Tesla in this one. They got 30 billion in the bank. They had 4.4 billion in free cash for last year, almost 15 billion in net income. And expanding again, Dojo, Bot, Model 2, Cybertruck, Giga Mexico, Giga Shanghai, Roadster. I mean, it is unthinkable. The level of capital efficiency of this operation is mind-blowing. And I look at that heavily, as you know from watching my minor videos. The most capital efficient will win. That's it. That's it. Okay. I did say I'd do 21 points. It was about 24. So I cheated a little, but it's just to be too much. I tried to squeeze into 21. I couldn't. But literally, as far as I believe, as far as I'm concerned, there is truly no competition and there's truly no company like it on earth. And if you haven't picked that up <laughs> from this, I don't know. So we'll see where this goes. But right now, the price that Tesla is at, it is a mind blowing value for all the stuff that I just showed you. OK, and that's why people like myself and Kathy Wood are buying Tesla hand over fist as we can uh, every day. And I think today it was $178 or something crazy like that. But again, look where it's going. They will be the leader in all of the areas. They already are in most of them. And they've got the biggest revolution coming to the market. And that is bots. It'll be just like in cars. It'll be Tesla and the Chinese. And that's the revolution we need to get it ready for as well. So hope you like the content. <laughs> Don't lose faith. 
it's a rocky time. It's the most misunderstood asset, but that's kind of what I realized today. I specialize in things that people don't understand, but that's also where you make the critical alpha too. So thank you all for coming. Hope you like the show. Hit the like. if Yeah, we did like the show and we did hit the like, and that's what you guys got to do, all right? If you're out here reviewing it, fair use in it, go out here and pay respect to those people who put in work. But he said it the best. There's no competition like Tesla. I can't think of it, and there's nowhere on the planet. I mean, the closest competition would be BYD, but then BYD doesn't have all those other services. And for anybody who says, well, we don't know if that's going to work out, then all I would say... Bruh. Bra, I mean, let's say 25 or 30 percent of some of those things he said would work out. That still creates tremendous amounts of value. So even if every item, especially the dojo, doesn't pan out, then at least if 30 percent of those items in which he spoke about in that video pan out to be true, then we're going to have tremendous value. And it still is a hell of a company. But it's not so much about don't bet against Elon, which is also a thing, but also don't bet against effective and efficient in capital allocation that is being done appropriately. They're using their money wisely. They're making the company grow and they're doing a hell of a job. And so shout outs to Tesla, shout outs to the employees that are doing a great job. The employees that work day in and day out, work 60 hours plus. Shout outs to everybody from managers, supervisors. They're doing a great job at Tesla. Thank you, Tesla family, for doing a great job. I hope you continue to push forward. I'll support you with dollars. I'll support you with positive message. There is no company that shows the red, white, and blue like Tesla do. So shout out to everybody and much love for the Tesla crew.